Julie Johnson. And we've been back here before. So they're gonna have yeah. your chicks, huh? All the excitement, yeah. Hey, chicks. <laughs> they called earlier this morning. All the magic happens. <laughs> I hear something. I hear baby chicks. No way. I do. There they are. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. Wow, cool. So that's a little tiny box. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, it's just a little huh. little package. They're probably hungry and thirsty. <laughs> Thank you. you like, take me home, feed me, and give me water. They're supposed to be 16 plus one. We ordered them from McMurray, and they um, came all the way from Idaho, or I mean, Ohio. Murray McMurray Hatchery. There's supposed to be a bonus chicken here. I still remember where we were standing when the world stood still. They were born just yesterday, so they traveled a long ways. They went to Spokane, got a message this morning that they were on their way, so we hurried down, got a phone call from the post office, and got them. Let's take them home. Where we were standing, and I always will. You're the free. All right, babies. So I was mistaken. They were born two days ago, not one day ago. Yeah. But man, they are hungry. And I looked inside, and there's one that's not doing a lot of moving. She's alive, but I think she's top priority right now to get her food and water. Food, water, and heat. That's so warm. Hi guys. So you see this one right here. She's the one that I'm most concerned about. She hasn't moved around and she's not chirping like all the other ones. So let's go ahead and get her out. I want to go ahead and check the temperature. It's supposed to be between 90 and 95 right now. Looks like we're not hot enough yet. Good morning and welcome back to our off-grid homestead that we are building from scratch here in North Idaho. In this week's video, there will be a front porch all the way down there. It's a 56 by eight porch. Oh, and guys, if you're new here, we started off living in tents right here, outdoor kitchen right there, outdoor bathroom right behind the house. All of those videos are documented. You can go all the way back to the beginning and see how we started building our homestead from scratch on bare land as a family. First things first, we gotta take the old stairs off here so we can get the, the ledger board run all the way down. I think there's only one screw in there. Yeah. That's weird. There were actually three, but only one was actually put in. Yeah, I think the other ones broke off uh, when, uh, I don't know why, but they broke off for some reason. Being held up with two screws. That's it. Cool, ma'am really hard for me to work today with all those little tiny chicks sitting in there calling my name. <laughs> Put it right over here by Asher. Asher's our black bear cub. He likes to hang out here on the tree. The plan is we're going to take some of our scrap decking from the old deck, which is the same thickness as our new decking, and we're going to put it up underneath here and over here, then we're gonna hold the ledger board up against that, level it, and screw it in to get the first one set in place. I gotta get your set down a little bit. Okay. A little bit more? Yep. Oh man. I think, heavy. Down? Yeah. Oh man, this thing's way heavy. And put the level up now? Okay. You think we need to go get Seth? Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna need Seth down at that end. Okay. Seth's here to save the day. 
Thanks, Seth. <laughs> yeah. Come on out, my friend. You can use your one arm to help us. <laughs> Where's your Seth? sling, dude? Uh. Uh. Okay, so let's pick up this guy here. Okay. And uh, hold it up. Yep, put it up there. All right, lower it down some, Seth. We need to, we're going to slip these guys in there. You guys got it? Yeah. All right. Now. Oh, wow. I think I could go up further, can't I? On my side? Yeah, there we go. Both um, Jules come up a little if you can. All right, that's, that's pretty level. Go ahead and put your screw in there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. First, the ledger board is on. I mean, it's on, loosely on, but it's there. <laughs> it's in place. It's in place. There we go. It's in place. So let's just check it out and make sure the top here we're level. Mm. Wow. Pretty good. That's really good. Nice. I originally thought that we would take the laser level, check it here, go down to the end, and uh, mark it. But what if we just use the level and just keep going across with it? Let's try it. What do you think? I think yeah. it would be faster. Yeah. Let's give it a Probably try. We're fine. Mm -hmm. We'll check it out. We'll try it. So our original bathroom vent, which is right here, is um, it's in the wrong spot. We did not know when we originally built this. It was a cabin at the time um, that we were going to be putting a front porch on it like this. It wasn't part of the plan. And so we ran this out down low so that the vapors, the, the condensation wouldn't get into the eave. But now we've got we to gotta move it. So the plan is we'll cover this up here and then we'll come up here um, above right up there and it'll come out there and run down to the end and blow out the end over there. Because they're supposed to be on gable ends anyways, right? That's It's the best, right? The apartment's on an eave end, but it's best to put it on a gable end. That way the condensation doesn't come up underneath the eaves. You got more space on the gable end. We purchased all of our wood from Badger because each of these two by eight floor joists were $3 cheaper per board than Home Depot. So sometimes it pays to shop around. Save a little money. Save a little money. That's right. We're probably already over our military discount at Home Depot because last year, let's come all the way down here. Last year, they changed their policy on that. You only get the discount for up to like $4,000 that you spend at Home Depot. Pretty sure we should pass that already this year. Why don't we chase down the weekend? Hang like fools from the ceiling. Even if it don't really make sense. I could get used to this feeling, this feeling. Say, I want to be your companion. It is definitely mud season on the homestead again, man. Oh, the snow is going away, but mud, it's coming out. We scored you guys a super sweet deal with high C boots. That would be these boys right here. 100% dry, 100% warm and they have a 100 year warranty that's pretty cool they make all kinds of boots not just these kind of boots but they make like really cool ones for girls they've got chickens on them and flowers and stuff like that seth even has a pair that is like super cool i got these cowboy boots ha huh, those are cool i see i love them because one they're i mean they're cowboy boots they're really cool they have really cool designs on the sides and um they're also really wide a lot of cowboy boots you get, you know, are like cramping your feet the whole time. These aren't like those. They're also steel toed, which is really cool for working. And because I broke my clavicle or my collarbone, uh, these have come in 
so handy because I don't have to tie my shoes. I can just slip them right on. High C is looking for product testers. There is the invitation popping up on the screen right here. And there is a invitation code down below that you can use to apply to be a product tester. They're going to send you free products basically for you to test out and tell them how you like them. Also, you could use the same code down below to get 20% off any purchases. Not only that, guys, we want to give away two pairs of boots for free to two of you. Leave a comment down below saying that you would like to have a free pair of boots. And if we choose you, we will send you an email saying that you won the pair of boots and we'll get you those boots for free. We want to thank Hi-C for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to work. Check out what we've got done so far. All of the ledger board is on. We've got the rim joist this far, and we're down to our last board. Question is, how did we do keeping it level? I mean, we were using the level, Seth's on the eight foot level. We're adjusting each one, lining them up. And now here at the end, we went from that end down to here. And so it needs to be flush with this end and it needs to be flush with this end and it ought to be level, right? So we're gonna figure it, we're gonna see right now how we did keeping it level all the way down. This is the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> if it's not, what, what do we do? Well, I say if it's off more than half an inch, then we'll have to figure something out. But if it's half an inch or less, we'll just make it flush and flush and there'll be a half inch difference in, over eight feet. Not, bi not or, a big deal. That's actually, it's 11 feet. So, no big deal. Ready, Jules? All right, ready. Okay, so Jules and I are gonna line it up so it's flush. Seth's gonna put the level on it. All righty. Are you ready? Wait, 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 we're not ready yet. Okay, my set's flush. I'm flush. Ready. What do we do? Oh, we're so close to really? perfect. So close, so to, close perfect. to perfect. Which way? Um, Slightly up, no, Me? down. Me? Yeah. Just barely down. We're inside both lines, though. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's good. Let me go ahead and mark it. Marty is going to use the palm nailer to nail all these in. While he does that, I'm just going along and marking every inch and a half so that he will know where to go, where to nail in. So we've got inch and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half. Just got to do that to the rest of these. This tape measure is a little hard to read, Marty. I know it, huh? <laughs> it's like all corroded. Yeah, it's hard to like, I have to like second guess myself. I've marked it wrong a couple times, so there's a couple little squigglies that you'll have to look at. Did you find the palm nailer? I did. Did the first five the old fashioned way. Then I remembered, it, we've got a palm nailer. Why don't we try that? <laughs> We're using uh, these nails right here. We'll add some big, like, screws into it as well later but we're going to get it up with these nails right now which will probably be sufficient in and of themselves this thing can't move anywhere like it can't pull away from the house it can't move at all so we're just it's just downward force that we're worried about and it's only supporting the deck and the people on it no snow or anything like that Woo. well that's a little easier yeah hey do you want some earplugs safety sally asked me to come Check with you. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you better say yes. <laughs> She's eavesdropping. But I think you're going to try it here in a minute. It's loud, huh? Loud. Way loud. <laughs> hey, well, I'll do a few more of these. Would you go give them an update on the chickies? Sure. Let's go check out the chickies. See if they're all doing good still. It's only been a couple hours. Ooh, how are you guys doing in there? Hmm, 
And everybody's just running around being good little chickies. Let's uh, check your temperature, huh? Oh, look at that, 95 degrees in there. That's one chicken. 90, just what it's supposed to be. 98, oh, it's 101 right there. You guys are like blazing warm. So they're plenty warm. They could get over into the corners and stuff if they want to cool off. But they look like they're having a great time out there, in there, in their little box. In their little box of goodness. What you doing out here, dude? It doesn't sound like that one again but it went back into the same hole oh. at the same angle hmm. so can you hold this board and i'll pull it out yep and then i think i think i'm gonna have to do a different hole okay all right ready yep or we can do it by hand oh yeah okay at the, the right angle go with the right angle yep i'm gonna go a little more drastic and okay. see what happens Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I feel like it could be way more accurate with a regular hammer. Really? Yeah. All right then, how about we race? You start at that end, I'll start here, mm -hmm. and we'll see who uh, who beats. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure we know the winner. <laughs> sure we know the outcome of that game. Another beautiful day here on the homestead. It's gonna be a beautiful, warm day. The snow is almost gone. We got a couple piles left here and that's about it. Did you guys know that it's supposed to be either 79 or 80 degrees in a couple of days? I know. That's crazy. I might even be able to take off my snow jacket eventually. Maybe, huh? <laughs> so what are you guys doing here? Show me, show them what you're doing. Well, we've got these, we've got our hangers right here. And then this is just our little, what, a jig, I guess. So I'm squeezing it together, putting the little jig in there, lining this up with the top, because this is for our floor joists. Squeezing it, making sure that I'm on the line. Seth's double checking me, and then Seth's using the palm nailer. So while they're working on putting in all of the hangers, I'm gonna be over here starting to put in the um, floor joists, the decking joists. Whatever they're called. Joyce. All right, guys? Yeah. yeah. like an eagle. I'm circling the sun. I want to do so many things, things I have never done. Just show me where the path gives out, and that's where I'll run. I'll never be a passenger of what someone else desires. I'm wild as the lavender, but hungry like a fire. If you ask me where I'll keep my roots, I'll put up to coming out pretty good those two that uh that person named julie and seth uh -huh. they are fast <laughs> can't catch up to them you're trying i know it but you're too quick <laughs> last piece of our picture framing decking notice this decking right here doesn't have a groove cut in it and that way it looks nice on the edge so we're using this kind of picture frame it in and then we'll put the stuff with the grooves and the special fasteners in the middle of that. So we're using a synthetic decking. This is the brand is called Fiberon and it is the um, cabin color. Looks like this on the back side. It's like a recycled plastic basically. And it looks like this on the front. It's supposed to be pretty non-slip. Should work good. These are the fancy spacers and drill screw guide thing we're using them right now to space out this first row because this one here gets screwed down and then one side of the first row gets screwed down then if you'll notice back here we've got this groove and so these right here will go like that and the fastener will be right in here to hold these down Dude, what do you guys think? It's summertime already? Taking a little break from finishing up that deck out there. Got these guys in shorts and 
tank tops and all of that. Working out here in the sun. You guys are doing a little planting, eh? Yeah, Mike and Liz from Laid Back Living brought over some of their starts that they had started in their greenhouse. We've got spinach, cabbage, and broccoli. We're planting all those in this bed. Then from some friends at church, they gave us a ton of strawberries and some different flowers and actually raspberry bushes. So getting everything in the ground and then we need to water it up. It's hot. Later. The solar has been doing amazingly well. Jules and Seth planted spinach and cabbage in those two. Strawberries in that one. This one right here is still waiting. We've got a new row of raspberries right there. And it feels like spring, man. Feels like spring. I think it was 80 degrees today. Sunday. Had a great day at church. You're always welcome to come, like always. Anytime you're in town or if you live in the area, you want to come by. Come on by for worship. There is a link down in the description below. But right now, let's uh, cruise over here through our very, very messy apartment. Don't look around, guys. It's messy. We're going to cruise over here and see what the front porch looks like. Jules is over there working on the couch. Bye. Bye, Jules. Bye. Uh, safety Sally's up here, keeping an eye on everything. I want to go outside, too. All right, look at it. We ran out of time, so... There's just a little bit that we didn't get finished all the way, but I'll show you the lines so you can see. Look at those lines, man. Beautifully straight. We gotta rip down this piece right here that goes against the wall. We've got them right over there. Do that on Monday morning. You're probably watching this on Monday morning. So we're probably doing it while you're watching this. But today's Sunday afternoon. Oh, look at that, man. Some new cool stuff coming up for another video. I tell you that stuff is we actually use it i know you guys are like rah, 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 sponsored stuff rah, rah. but <clears throat> we use it it's good stuff we're going to be clearing over here coming up in the next video and we're going to be using all electric chainsaws probably because they're quiet and they're nice and uh they're easy to start by the way too Hey, that's going to do it for today, guys. If you want to check out what else is going on here on our channel, there's a video right down here. If you'd like to go all the way back to the beginning, we picked out this video right up here for you. In the meantime, we hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.